Did you know the average American will consume 18,000 chicken wings in their lifetime? This breaks down to just over 300 a year and about 24 a month. If you think about it, that's about 9,000 chickens per American. So it's safe to say that Americans, we love our chicken wings. Before we get too far into this video, why don't you let me know in the comments below, are you above the average or below the average? Welcome back YouTube, my name is Forrest and in this video I'm gonna show you three simple steps that'll help you make the most of your chicken wings at home. Our first step is to marinate our chicken. The marinade is a crucial and often overlooked step when making wings at home. It'll really help ramp up the flavor of your chicken wings and increase tenderness. You're gonna to wanna to do this step two to four hours before you plan on cooking. You can go longer if you want. And for our marinade, I'm gonna use buttermilk and a splash of pickle juice. This will really help tenderize your chicken wings and make them super juicy. Our first step focused on the inside of the wing, creating a tender and juicy wing. Now we're gonna focus on step two, which is gonna be the outside of the wing. Really wanna create that crisp and that crunch to really help complete our wing. So for that reason, we're going to coat the outside of our wings with potato starch. This step will really help emphasize the crispiness and give you that crunch that everyone wants. Now that we're on to the third and final step, let's kind of look at how we've built our flavor profile on the wings. Our first step focused on the inside, making them juicy and tender. Our second step focused on the outside, making them crispy and giving them that texture that we're really looking for. So our third and final step will bring it all together. You need to make sure you use a lot of cooking spray. That's the trick. That is our third and final step. You're gonna to wanna to coat the bottom of your air fryer as well as put the wings in a single layer and then spray the top. After 10 minutes at 350, we're gonna flip the wings and we're gonna spray them again. And then to really kind of crisp them up, you're gonna spray them a third time on both sides and put them at 400 for about two minutes. This will give you that perfect crunch that you're looking for and create the absolute best air fried wings you've ever tasted. Can't forget our sauce. So while those wings are cooking, we're gonna go ahead and make our sauce over here on the side. I use buffalo sauce, butter, minced garlic, a little bit of vinegar, and then we kind of just melt that all together. It makes a super simple sauce, but I promise you it's really tasty. And there you have it. I've given you three simple steps to make the most of your wings at home and create the best air fried wings, in my opinion, you probably have ever tasted. If you really enjoyed this video for me, check out the video right here. It is gonna be the four best damn tacos you've ever tasted in your life. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.